Brian, mm -hmm. we're out here on Skid Row. You're out here hustling, man. You're putting all these bikes together. That's pretty awesome. But tell me about life out here. Well, life out here is no different than any other life. You know, uh, you got other things that happen around here. You got good things that happen around here. Real good things that happen. You got bad things that happen. And that, that goes along with everything that we do. Uh, me being out here, uh, it's hard for me to try to get a, a business yes, loan or for yeah. open up a bike shop. So I'm, therefore, I'm going to have to work for somebody that has a bike shop and get all this intellect and stuff that I need to open up my own shop. Right. Know? But I really want to do something for the kids uh, and people who can afford bikes and uh, build on that, you know, by using the bike techniques that we have down here to make that accomplish and put a smile on a child's face. Yeah. You know? How long have you been out here? I've been off and on down here since 99. That's you know, a long this time, time. Last time I came down here, I came down here and uh, I was here on a bet. I couldn't stay in the tent for a whole month and I won the bet for $100 and I've been out here two years. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, I've been through some hard times, I've been through some rough times here, but I would never change nothing in the world for being down here. I learned a lot from these people down here, because I'm one of them, you know what I'm saying? There's other, there's other people that's down here that are very educated and, and have degrees, and, and they fell on hard times, you know? Some with drugs, everything's not about drugs, you know? Everyone's always, oh, he's on drugs, no, it's not, you know? Any, any person can recover if you get the mindset to recover. Right, right. So therefore, and this is like the mecca. Well, it's a community. People don't understand. Yeah, Skid we Row stick together. Still you, know, you, know, you know, and when the police come and run, running through your stuff, and really they're not supposed to go through your personal item. Your personal item holds sentimental value, stuff which is priceless. So they do what they do, and, you know, and, but they got to look at it. They, they left out this big old building here that's going to house so many people. Right, that was Harvard Light. That was the, the yeah, Salvation yeah, Army. It's now right closed. I mean, I mean, but where's all this, where all this money? I ain't going to curse. Where all this money going to? Right, right. I would like to become a, a homeless advocate because I, I can, I've been there. Yeah. And uh, right now, I'm just going to my mind. I provide doing these bikes. I got a job doing it. And if nothing's rough trying to get it, then it ain't worth getting that, you know, so. So you've been out here for a long time. No, I've been off and on. Now. Off and on. Yeah, off and on. But Skid Row has changed, and well, yeah. I have never seen it this bad. Yeah, yeah, it's changed. You know, times is getting rough. You know, it's changed. You know, people are losing houses. Up. You got people that some of the police officers that I talk to, they they talk about the houses and stuff. You know, and yeah. How things are going. You know, but one thing I got to do is stay, stay in my goal and what I set out to do. And use the people around me to gather around me to rally around me to do it because I'm not trying to do this by myself. I'm, I'm going to get them into it so they can open up avenues for them as well. It's not just about me. Yeah. So you survived by fixing bikes. Yeah, for the time myself. I've been here, everybody's coming yeah, by and getting the bikes and and and, uh, and, and, and and working at the bike shop. You know, I mean, I, stay, I work ten hours, man. I bring work home. You know, yeah. I stay busy. This is something I dedicate. Oh, to my so brother. you're working during the day at a bike shop. Yes. So you're Six working homeless. Working homeless. Some people say they can't work homeless. That's, I don't know. I'm, I'm oh, but no, a that. lot of people do. Oh, they, yeah. they, they, you can't afford. Uh, I did a quick search. There's a one bedroom. There's two available. There's a one bedroom for five thousand a month over here, and there was one for six thousand a month. One bedrooms. Yeah, that's Six. ridiculous. You know, they need to do something about that, man. They got all this property, and people want all this high ass rent for stuff. You know. And that's what really kind of, I think, scares people down here, you know, being, uh, on how do you say that, responsible to yeah. pay 500 Yeah. And once they live with 10, they got to pay 500 yeah. It's a transition I think a person needs to go through. Yeah. Like I'm going through. Right. You know, I'm going to go through a transition. I'm going to get my ID, my, uh, my, my driver's license. I'm gonna, I'm start keeping I don't have a felony. So this isn't the end, this isn't the end game? No, 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 this is not the end. my homie over there, this, this, cool. this right here is something that I'm trying to All right. ignite down here that will drop it closer yeah. together. And these bikes is really kind of interesting. Yeah. And people start, I see people riding yeah. bikes and it gets me a drink. Right? So. If you had three wishes, what would they be? My one thing is that all my people down here that's homeless will have somebody play their head. That's I don't need the other two wishes. That's the only wish I wish for somebody else. Wow. I do this for my brother who passed away four days before my birthday. And wow. Miss very Wow. Great wish. Love you. Thank you very much for talking.